My name is João Paulo Casarotti, and on this video I will be performing and talking a little bit about the piece number five of Bella Bartok's For Children. This is a folk song from Hungary that in one of his editions is entitled Play. So here it comes. This is a beautiful folk tune from Hungary that probably Bartok collect himself on one of his trips as an ethnomusicologist. I will be discussing a little bit about how to properly move your right hand, your left hand, and how to coordinate. As you notice, this piece has lots of contrast and details. We have contrast in tempo, contrast in articulations, and a lot of details that should be uh, follow. Please look closely to these details. I think that this is the most tricky and challenged thing of this piece is to fulfill the details that Bartok writes. Okay, so your right hand you are starting actually on an F4 position in C major and I'm going to be starting by bringing my elbow a little bit in and I'm bringing my body a little back so I don't feel myself uh, too tight. So I'm going to start by rotating to transfer the weight. So I'm doing right, left, right, left. And then I find myself here on the same note. I found myself G. I found myself on a C major pentachord. And I'm going to be using over shape movement to play around those keys. And then I'm rotating right, left. So I did right, left. Right, left, and then I over shape in right, left. Now I repeat the same thing, but now as an echo in piano. Right, left, right, left, back to C position. Over shape in right, left. Now here it comes another uh, section with different articulation. So I'm going to do draw, and I'm going to rotate left, right, I lift, and drop again. Now I play the same thing as an echo. Draw, rotate, and draw. And pay attention on your fingering. Three, two, three, lift, four. And then the same thing in piano. Three, two, three, four. All right. And now I'm going to be doing, I'm on D minor position. I'm going to do some under shape and over shape. Under shape. Now the same thing as an echo. And as I play my D, I can continue to rotate here and finding myself on the next position, which is kind of a B uh, position in C major. So I'm going to now drop towards the left, drop towards the left, and drop towards the left. So I did the double and the double rotation. That's your section A, one more time. Right, left, right, left, over shape in right, left. And I'll say thing in echo. there 
and then two four, one three, one. That's your section A. Okay, now uh, your section B is supposed to be faster, and I'm going to start with these repeated um, thirds, and I'll be probably doing this moving in and out to change the key spot. So I'm starting the, the downbeat out, and then I'm moving in. Out, in, 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 out, in, in, in. So I'm moving key spots, and I'm also bouncing. section in piano and I'm going to be doing the finger in one, two, one, two, one, two, three. And as I change fingering, you notice that I'm also going to be moving in and out. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, three. And I'm bouncing. I'm not closing my hand to make that happen, okay? So I bounce one, that brings my two, and then back to one, right? One, two, one. you're going to go back to tempo one which is slower so make sure you do the same thing but now here he writes piano same movement So I'm just using this movement rotation here to find myself. Now I'm going to play the proper articulation. One, three, two, four. And I'll rest. Now the same thing one in piano. One, three, two, five. Rest, rest. Now four to one. Have a major chord. Rest. Now D minor seven, but there's five to one. Now your G is right here, right? So I'm just going to move it to the thumb, right, left, and I'm connecting the rotation. Four to one is easier. So right, big rotation, left, and four to one, and it makes me connect. I'll make sure to show the bass. Practice this. Left, right, left, right, and then you can play the chord with double notes and softer. So again. Right, left, right. Now you can play the way it's written. Okay. Now 
the second part, you're gonna have to bring your elbow in a little bit, and you're gonna be playing these tenuto notes, which are longer. So draw, 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 draw. I'll probably do five, three, two, one. Five, three, two, with the arm weight. Rest, rest, put your thumb on the flat. Two and three and five, all tenuto. So one more time, draw with walking arm and shaping. One, two, two, in, over shape. And now I go to the next section. This is a little tricky. So I would just map the chords right here, chord one, and then C sharp E is already here, and then just move my thumb. You gotta go from here to here. Walk out a little bit. So you're gonna do pass. that I'm doing in, out, in, out, right, one more time, bounce, out, in, out, so again faster, and then rest, four to one, D minor, and then bounce, and then yeah, rotating again, but I'm letting it go, because it's not, I got this tenuto only, so one more time in this section, bounce, The same is just softer, uh, except the last four measures that you're gonna be also using the pedal. So I'm gonna play really soft G and I add my pedal. G and F, I add my pedal. So what's important is you know when you're looking at the pedal, as you play down, you lift your pedal. I mean you can still see from this angle. As you play down, you lift and then you put the pedal. Now, when putting together this, it's important that you think about the interdependence. I would recommend you to actually tap this really slow in small sections of four measures so that you can find your coordination. So I'm going to start right together, right? So, but the left is bouncing and, and the right stays, so it should be right together, right together. See how I bounce the left hand? So right together, right together together, right, right, together, right, right, together. See, it's shorter than the right hand. Now piano, same thing, right, together, right, together, right, right, together, right, right, together, right. Now the next section is tricky, the, 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 the coordination, so you need to pay attention when you're actually working on this, hands together, that you understand the interdependence so the beginning here is down the right hand, and now together, right, this lift, and this stay, and then you drop together. But this is legato, and this is not legato, okay? So when I play on the key, um, it will be clear, okay? So tap first in sections of two and four measures, and then you try hands together. So I'm gonna show you how this would be. So I'll do this one down, and this one is up. Dependence. One is down, the other one is up. You notice the left hand bouncing. And now soft, the same thing, it's lower to the keys. See the left hand stays. And practice low like this, making sure that you're lifting the right. So one more time. Second part, a little faster, bouncing again, together, 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 together. Right? Together, together, together. Now this is tricky because this is 
pulsing, changing the finger, and this pulse quick to the next position. So, so I'm gonna do it again.